Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Dr. Goat and today I'm going to be discussing whether or not the ZZ Performance Stage 2 kit for the Chevy Cruze 1.4 liter turbo is worth it or not. As always, before I get too far into this, wanted to remind you guys I post three times a week. Tuesdays are car vlogs such as this maybe. <laughs> Wednesdays are my podcast, Driven Living, that I do with my fiance. And Fridays are just any kind of random car content, maybe this vlog as well. So to be sure you don't miss out, hit that subscribe button down below as well as the bell. All right, so to answer this straight away for you guys, yes, I would absolutely say the ZZ Performance Stage 2 kit is absolutely worth it, at least on these 1.4 liter turbo engines. Um, my biggest reasoning on that, and I've mentioned it in multiple videos before with this car, is that these cars stock at least mine and I'm gonna assume that the rest of them are like this but stock they are so slow on their get up and go that it's just it's kind of ridiculous honestly um, I remember when I started looking at these cars watching multiple videos on YouTube and seeing all the comments and whatnot on them. A lot of people were even saying like steep driveways or hills that they would have to downshift just to get up them. And I was kind of blown away by that because I've honestly never had to do that in anything besides like a semi. You know, I was kind of shocked, especially that, you know, a newer car like this would have that much of an issue and to be honest even when this was stock I never had to actually downshift to go up any hills granted I'm not living in the mountains or anything like that but I will say just trying to pass people on a road where say the speed limits 55 they're doing 50 or whatever you want to get around them you would have to downshift to fourth, possibly third gear, just to get around them in a decent amount of time that, you know, I would say is a safe, safe amount of time to be passing. Um, that honestly in itself made me want the stage two kit. I wasn't, wasn't getting the stage two kit with the intent of you know oh my god this car's gonna be so fast i was more or less getting it just so it seemed to be you know safer to drive but i will say now if you don't know what the zz performance stage two kit is it's pretty simple it's only three things well Whole bunch of pieces but it amounts to three modifications to the car which would be one a bigger intercooler up front it's pretty massive compared to the one that comes on these cars and I don't know like I've said in other videos I don't know if it's like just my crews that had this or if all ecos have this or all models but on the back of the bumper the front bumper there was this again pretty massive um, electronically controlled vent like air vent up there that with putting that intercooler on that vent no longer fits on there so the only downfall to getting the stage 2 kit and that intercooler is that I now have a check engine light on just for that and it doesn't, you know, mechanically affect the car in any way. The car still drives perfectly. It, you know, 
no issues because of that just you have that light on there which is kind of annoying so the second thing that this kit comes with is a whole cold air intake setup which even just getting on it a little bit I can hear it I think you guys can hear it as well but it gives you that nice little psh, little psh, psh. <laughs> it just I I could sit there all day just doing that just to listen to it but you know any car that I've ever had if I went to modify it that's like the first thing that people say to do is put a cold air intake on it any like I was saying any car that I've ever had or wanted to get if you look into modifying them that's pretty much the first thing that people recommend doing is a cold air intake that just helps the engine to breathe better and therefore gaining you more power so the third and final thing that this uh, ZZ Performance Stage 2 kit really comes with is a turbo back exhaust meaning that they've got your whole setup for exhaust mounting off of your turbo all the way up through the muffler to the tip and that once again is larger it's still not a big pipe but it's a little bit bigger than the stock pipe and I don't know they just know what they're doing I, you've actually got an exhaust sound out the back after putting this on and I honestly think it sounds pretty dang good like it's you know obviously it's not super loud which is kind of a good thing you know I I didn't want to be a full-on racer with getting this stage 2 kit and that but um, it, it really gives the exhaust a nice tone I enjoy it but yeah that's that's basically all that the stage 2 kit is is the uh, cold air intake the larger intercooler and the turbo back exhaust but you know it doesn't make the car a race car by any means but it honestly really improves its get up and go like I can pass people with no issues now and it just makes it like I've said before I know I've said this in other videos it makes it a fun peppy car and I I really enjoy driving the car now I think that's about all I got for you guys today if you enjoyed the video please be sure to give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it drop a comment down below if you've got any questions about the stage 2 kit or any other modifications you would recommend me get for the car I'd really like to set it on coilovers and get some aftermarket wheels at some point point. and as always please subscribe and I will see you guys next time